Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to take a closer look at my SPS collection. Hello and welcome back everyone to Amra Azul TV. Today I thought uh, for our update I thought we'll do something a bit different so instead of uh, shooting the update and my quarrels with uh, my iPhone like I usually do I thought I was gonna whip up my uh, DSLR and take some uh, nice macro pictures of uh, my corals and give you kind of a, a close-up tour of uh, the SPS that uh, you typically don't see from the iPhone so we're gonna get to see polyps today <laughs> alright uh, everything has been going on uh, uh, well I think uh, there is uh, no major changes. Uh, things are just kind of steadily uh, growing and uh, the colors on the SPS are uh, uh, I'm noticing uh, improvements kind of every time I, I check on my tank. Uh, <laughs> my, one of my rats has uh, kicked up a sandstorm here and first I was uh, really annoyed about this but actually uh, I think the sand uh, helps you kind of uh, appreciate the water flow in, in my tank a little bit more. Uh, and uh, watching the sand goes, you kind of get a sense of how random the flow is. Uh, so I, I do have two uh, uh, gyres and uh, two MP10s. Uh, and I think overall, uh, this is kind of one area where I feel like uh, my setup is, is doing a good job in terms of uh, moving water around. Uh, but enough, uh, enough about the water. Uh, tank is looking really good. I've been ramping my uh, uh, Gen 5 Radions. Uh, so I think right now they're almost at uh, 70%. Every week I add like a, a plus a plus one percent, and I think the corals are, are responding in, in a positive way. Uh, it's it's kind of funny that this phase of watching Acropora grow and and the first uh, when I redid the Aquascape uh, and got the new frags. Obviously, you know when when you whenever you introduce a whole bunch of new frags, they they never kind of look good right away. Uh, but slowly and surely, I'm, I'm starting to kind of notice the colors that uh, the SPS uh, are supposed to kind of have. Uh, so the, this is kind of a, a fun part of watching the tank grow is, is uh, when you start out with a whole bunch of small one inch frags, maybe not that colorful, and then you put them in where you think they're going to be doing good and you just kind of slowly wait and uh, if you're lucky, uh, then s you start to see the colors that uh, you're meant to kind of see. So. Uh, I think I think tank is definitely on the right track and and I'm really enjoying the new aquascape uh, so uh, you've seen the tank from kind of different sides and I think we're gonna start uh, uh, the coral tour so the first coral that I want to show you is actually something that you don't usually like see me talk about but uh, the track of failure this is probably one of the first corals that I got uh, back before I had this tank I think from uh, like seven no not seven six years ago uh, and it's still looking great. Uh, my uh, 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 trident, no, my clam, I, I don't remember which uh, species this is, but uh, it's been doing really well. Uh, it's definitely like showing signs of, uh, of growth. Uh, uh, when the mantle retracts a little bit, you see where like the, the, the new growth rings, I don't think they're called growth rings, but maybe they are, but uh, you can kind of see where it's growing in the shell. All right, here is the worldwide coral little, little red Ferrari. Uh, it's got like a, a deep kind of purplish reddish uh, tissue with these kind of yellow, light yellowish polyps and uh, it, the growth patterns is, is very kind of whimsical and, and the tips are a little bit white so I've, I've been really enjoying kind of seeing uh, this coral. Uh, it, it's certainly kind of a unique color that uh, you don't see in other corals. Uh, speaking of unique corals this is the Aura Hawkins uh, uh, Shinada. And definitely th this is got a really kind of combina a nice combination of aquamarine and, and turquoise. Uh, very interesting blue or I guess blue green uh, that you don't see anywhere. So definitely like a, a very unique color that uh, you probably should have in your tank. Uh, this is my tiny orange passion frag and, and uh, you see the orange polyps. Uh, the colors are not there yet but uh, it, it's encrusting and, and uh, you ca when, when this thing goes into a colony it's uh, you know spectacular. The, the whites, the oranges, the greens and, and the yellows. Uh, here is the bubblegum montipora. Uh, again, very kind of unique growth patterns. I uh, love the red polyps, love the green tips. Uh, inexpensive corals, but I think it adds a lot of color and, and movement to your tank. 
and then you know not, nothing beats a, a nice blue cali tort it's just kind of a, a classic uh, a very kind of unique shade of uh, blue with a little bit of uh, green on, on the body uh, so uh, not an expensive frag but one that uh, you know does give you a lot of uh, really good color so, same with the green slimer right it's just it's fluorescent green that that's all it is but uh man it, it, does it ever kind of stand out uh so you, you know you don't always have to have like uh very expensive frags to get great colors uh and i think the slimer is is a case of point in this i love how uh the polyps are kind of sticking out on all my, all my corals uh i don't really uh oh yeah this is the jason fox jolt Again, super polypy. Uh, still haven't seen the red yet, but I just love the kind of color combination from the blue to the white. Uh, it, it's supposed to have a little bit of red, and I, I think maybe with more par, the, the red will show up, but uh, a very kind of fuzzy looking Acropora. Uh, this is the golden jaw dropper. So far, it's been mostly kind of like uh, uh, green, but I'm noticing with the higher intensity, I'm getting these kind of like uh, lovely yellowish goldish tips so uh, i think that's something that we'll look forward to uh seeing more of as this color uh coral grows in more up into the light and as i enhance the intensity on in, uh, my radions here's a walt disney that this is something that i've added like maybe a month ago so it's it's not showing the crazy colorations that it's known of uh, but great polyp extension and and certainly lots of lots of potential you can see a little bit of the purplish bluish tips here uh, I, I, I am still dosing amino acids every other day. I, I do a kind of a couple of uh, mils. Uh, this is the PC Rainbow, uh, one of the prettiest things in, in the tank. It, the base is like goes from this green, yellow, uh, and then you get the pink and the reds and, and the reddish polyps and the white tips. Uh, just kind of spectacular like so uh, <laughs> in terms of a range of coloration the PC rainbow is, is by far the most diverse um, so very happy that I got it uh, here is the refract Marvin the Martian uh, you, as you can see it's uh, super polypy uh, I think somewhere here I'm gonna turn the flow off uh, in the tank so you, you get a sense of what the polyps look like when they're stale uh, but uh, under yeah here it is so under regular circumstances the polyps are kind of waving all over the place uh, great little uh, if you ever get your hands on uh, one of these corals uh, it's very pretty I mean the, the colors are colors are, are just kind of green and, and purple uh, but uh, the, the motion of the polyps is, is kind of spectacular it's the Acropora that thinks it's a millipora And next is my kind of classic uh, electric Myaji tort. This thing really kind of changes a lot depending on, on the color. Uh, you notice that the, the tips are showing a little bit more white, uh, light, kind of very super light pink here, uh, which, which is kind of unusual. This is the first I've, I've seen this colony do, but uh, uh, for me at least, this colony has, does change a lot depending on the type of light does it, does it, uh, that it receives. Uh, here we have the refraft rainbow loom, uh, very pretty green with the, the purplish uh, tips. Uh, grows really fast, and and uh, I love the kind of the juxtaposition of color between it and and the Mayaji tort uh, uh, below it. And next up, I think we have uh, the pink lemonade. Uh, small frag but it's it's encrusting and growing really well uh, it's uh, you know kind of classic uh, yellow with uh, with pink polyps uh, I, I don't think you could go wrong with the color combination so I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to having this one kind of grow up uh, because uh, I, I did try it three times before and and so far this is the only time that it's, it has really kind of uh, took and uh, here we have the refract pink Cadillac uh, very kind of uh, pretty coral it, it does go really fast so uh, do you need to stay on top of it and, and frag it uh, but uh, you know you, you can't beat the pink uh, and the blue polyps and the green base uh, very lovely colony and then probably one of my like favorite uh, inexpensive acroporas or I'm just favorite acroporas is this uh, major laser I, th I think it's a uh, uh, Sar Saramon soda is, is the species name uh, really kind of unique 
greenish blue uh, tur- turquoise, I guess, and the red pinkish polyps are really stand out, and uh, and and the growth patterns is really unique. So I h- highly recommend this if you don't or have one already. Uh, this is a, a frag of refraff pot of gold. It's supposed to kind of have more uh, gold yellow colors, but. Um, uh, you know, overall, it's it's growing well, and and it seems really happy with the the polyps. I, the polyps look really interesting here because you actually see that the polyps have like a bluish and a green tip, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, the Jason Fox uh, Fox Flame, uh, lovely colorations, uh, pink with the uh, like green uh, mint mint green or yellow tip, uh, kind of uh, classic. Uh, I have this in, in the bottom of my tank, and and I'm glad that it's uh, coloring up there. Uh, and then next up is uh, is a frag that, uh, from my like huge colony from about a year ago, uh, the Refraff Mr. Pac-Man. Uh, I keep this in the sand bed and it just grows like super well. It's got that uh, purple uh, purple body with uh, with yellow gre- greenish tips, um, kind of uh, very whimsical uh, looking as well. And then finally, I have uh, the Bonsai Valida. Again, it, like super inexpensive, but the color combinations is is just spectacular. You go from like the deep purples. Uh, white base with uh, with the neon uh, green uh, polyp so uh, great combination uh, so uh, that's that's it just a quick little tour so uh, you know we, we see <laughs> typically we see these uh, corals from far up and it's hard to kind of make out how they actually grow and and what the exact colors are and what the polyps look like so I, I was happy that I was able to capture some of this with uh, my macro lens and, uh, and my DSLR so uh, that's it guys uh, it's uh, well Almost, almost the start of uh, <laughs> the Christmas season. So, uh, hopefully, I'll do one more before uh, Christmas. Uh, so, for now, uh, uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, take care and uh, stay safe, everyone. Bye.